Hello everyone. After eight weeks of learning, reading and answering your Science 10 lesson, we will now have an exam soon. But before your exam, let us have a short review of our past lessons for this quarter. You may write your insights and ideas in the comments section below. If you have noticed some incorrect informations, I will gladly accept your corrections for the better good of all the reviewees. Please enjoy, learn and don't skip any items because all of the choices in each item will be rationalized. Are you ready? Let's get started. Number 1. Which part of male external genitals covers and holds the testes? A. Penis B. Scrotum C. Epididymis D. Prepuce The correct answer is letter B. Scrotum Scrotum is a pouch-like or sack of skin that covers or protects testes. Penis is an external male genital composed of erectile tissue and an organ of male reproductive system that is introduced to vagina during sexual intercourse. Epididymis is a long coiled tube where sperm cells will mature and stored. Prepuce is part of penis that covers the glands and the foreskin that will be removed during circumcision. Number 2. Which specific part of female reproductive organ does implantation happen? A. Fimbria. B. Fallopian tube. C. Uterus. D. Ovary. The correct answer is letter C. Uterus. Uterus accepts the fertilized egg and site of egg implantation. Fimbriate is a fringe of tissue near the ovary leading to the fallopian tube or oviduct. Fallopian tube or oviduct is a tube that leads from ovary to uterus. It is also the site of fertilization. Ovary produces egg cell and secretes hormones estrogen and progesterone. Number 3. What part of neurons receives the nerve impulse? A. Axon B. Dendrites C. Axon terminals D. Cell body The correct answer is letter B. Dendrites Dendrites is part of a neuron that receives the nerve impulse from another neuron. Axon sends the nerve impulse away from the cell body. Axon terminals transmit nerve impulse to the dendrites of another neuron. Cell body or soma contain genetic information that provides energy to drive activities. Number 4. Which gland secretes hormone that will make you sleep? A. Adrenal. B. Pituitary gland. C. Pineal gland. D. Pancreas. The correct answer is letter C. Pineal gland. Pineal gland is a gland in endocrine system that releases the hormone melatonin which regulates our body rhythm and sleep patterns. Adrenal is part of the body's emergency action team. Pituitary gland produces hormones that control many activities of the other endocrine glands. Pancreas regulates blood sugar level in the body. Number 5. It is the process of central dogma of life where proteins are created. A. DNA replication. B. Transcription. C. Translation. D. Protein synthesis. The correct answer is letter C. Translation. 
Translation is one of the processes in the central dogma of life where encoded information from mRNA will be translated into proteins. DNA replication is a process where DNA duplicates itself. Transcription is a process of copying DNA into mRNA. Protein synthesis is a process of making proteins that follows the process of translation occurs in the ribosome. Number 6. A forelimb of a dog, lizard, a duck and a whale are an example of blank. A. Analogous structure. B. Homologous structure. C. Embryonic structure. D. Geologic structure. The correct answer is letter B. Homologous structure. Homologous structure is a body structure that has same origin but have different functions. Best example of it is the statement. Analogous structure. Body structure that has same function but have different origin. Best example of it is bat and insect's wings. Embryonic structure. Embryo is an organism's earliest stage of life and is not related to the statement. Geologic structure. Geologic structure is an example of evidences of continents being a supercontinent called Pangaea. It is also again, not related to the statement. Number 7. A group of living organisms made up of related individuals that are capable of interbreeding. A. Evolution. B. Species. C. Adaptation. D. Population. The correct answer is letter B. Species. Species is a group of organisms that can mate and produce fertile offspring. Evolution is the change in heritable traits of biological population over successive generations. Adaptation is the process of becoming better suited to the environment. Population is a group of the same species that live in the same area at the same time. Number 8. The following below is present in both male and female, except A. Urethra B. Pituitary gland C. Reproductive system D. Vas deferens The correct answer is letter D. Vas deferens Vas deferens is a thin tube that starts from epididymis to urethra. This can only be seen in male reproductive system and absent in female reproductive system. Both male and female have urethra, pituitary gland, and reproductive system. Number 9. This organ system receives and transmits information through billions of neurons to control different parts of our body. A. Endocrine system. B. Dendrites. C. Sensory neurons. D. Nervous system. The correct answer is letter D. Nervous system. Nervous system is an organ or body system that receives and transmits information through billions of neurons to control different parts of the body. Endocrine system is an organ or body system that secretes hormone that alters the activities of cells. Dendrites is a part of neuron that receives nerve impulse. Sensory neurons are type of neuron that carry impulses from the receptor to the CNS. Number 10. Which of the following summarizes the flow of transcription? A. DNA is converted into protein. B. Information in DNA is copied into mRNA. C. 
mRNA is read and translated into protein. D. DNA is replicated to produce two molecules of DNA. The correct answer is letter B. Information in DNA is copied into mRNA. Information in DNA is copied into mRNA best summarizes the process of transcription. DNA is converted into protein is incorrect because prior to protein is mRNA. mRNA is read and translated into protein best summarizes the process of translation. DNA is replicated to produce two molecules of DNA is the process of DNA replication. Number 11. As a population grows, which is not a factor that slows or limits the population's growth? A. Disease and parasitism. B. Competition for resources. C. Immigration. D. Predation. The correct answer is letter C. Immigration. Immigration is the process of entering of an organism into another place, thus increasing the population growth and not a factor that slows or limits the population's growth. Disease and parasitism, competition for resources and predation are all factors that slow or limit the population growth. Number 12. Which of the following is not the function of the female reproductive system? A. Receives the sperms. B. To produce the egg. C. Secretes a slightly alkaline milky fluid that is charged as part of the semen. D. Production of hormones that control the various stages of ovulation and maintenance of pregnancy. The correct answer is letter C. Secretes a slightly alkaline milky fluid that is charged as part of the semen. This is not a function of female reproductive system but of the male reproductive system. Receives the sperms to produce eggs and production of hormones such as estrogen and progesterone that control various stages of ovulation and maintenance of pregnancy are some of the functions of female reproductive system. Number 13. Plant survival is limited based on the resources available to everyone. If in a garden, plants are limited by the space they have available to grow and reproduce. What will be the effect of this in plants? A. A plant without enough space will face increased predation from herbivores. B. A plant without enough space will not have as many parasites and diseases. C. A plant without enough space will be more likely to be impacted by air quality. D. A plant without enough space will not be able to capture enough light to grow. The correct answer is letter D. A plant without enough space will not be able to capture enough light to grow. The situation mainly focuses on the survival of plants and effects of the limited space they have for their growth and reproduction. Choices A, B and C are incorrect because the statement doesn't ask involvement of other organisms or any situations like having diseases or air pollution. Number 14. What is the path that blood travels during menstruation? A. Uterus, fallopian tube, vagina. B. Uterus, cervix, vagina. C. Vagina, uterus, fallopian tube. D. Cervix, uterus, vagina. The correct answer is letter B. Uterus, cervix, vagina. The path that blood travels during menstruation is from uterus, next to the cervix, lastly is the vagina and out of the female's body. Choices A, C, and D are incorrect. Number 15. Which of the following statement best describes the theory of natural selection? A. 
organs that needed and useful for adaptation develop. B. Acquired traits of parents can be passed on to their children. C. Organs not in use will disappear whereas organs that are in use will evolve. D. Traits vary among individuals with respect to their form, structure, functions, activities, and behavior. The correct answer is letter D. Traits vary among individuals with respect to their form, structure, functions, activities, and behavior. One of the key points of Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection is variation, meaning no two individuals is the same. Organs that needed and useful for adaptation develop is Lamarck's theory of need. Acquired traits of parents can be passed on to their children is Lamarck's theory of acquired characteristics. Organs not in use will disappear whereas organs that are in use will evolve is Lamarck's theory of use and disuse. That's all. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned a lot from this review. Don't forget to click the follow button so you won't miss my next upload. See ya!